So I wanted to start by asking if you have a favorite Assassin's Creed memory from playing any of the games ever. There it is. Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> I'm is guessing it, no. <laughs> is it so terrible <laughs> if I say honestly no? I couldn't even fake it if I tried. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, 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 am, I intend to play the game. <laughs> Do you play games at all, though? Um, ca- kind of. I play Mario Party. That's a game. That's a game. Okay. I played Monkey Ball when I was like 14. Okay. That's I game. play. Um, what did my brothers play? My brother plays Halo. I sometimes try to play with him. I really can't. Um, yeah, there are a few like first-person shooter games that I like try to get in on. I'm really bad at try to do that but I always I'm really I'm really into the idea of being uh, I'm really into the idea of video games I'm terrible at them though so I'm into the idea of being good at them <laughs> but I never am <laughs> so <laughs> not even like the ones where like Guitar Hero that kind of stuff mm. they're not really popular anymore no I I like I love Guitar Hero in theory okay I love it okay. I love it I'm terrible at it though <laughs> <laughs> no, I try. I try really hard. <laughs> so, so we see a lot of video game companies, including Ubisoft, make video games based on TV shows. Yes. What would the middle video game be? Oh my god. Cleaning up the house, maybe? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> maybe maybe a, a Sue competition game. Sue, like, trying to cheer or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to, the goal is to, like, get into any club. And, like, the different activities are, like, whatever, like, pressing A and blah, 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 blah to, like, do, like, cartwheels and stuff for, like, cheerleading team. <laughs> And stuff like that. I still think cleaning that house would be a challenge. <laughs> totally. No, that's great. That's a good, that, totally. There's like a middle one and then there are like character specific activities you can do. Axel's would be like, like do this without spilling food on himself you or something. You have a driving thing with him, right? With the car. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Totally. We gotta have the producers get involved in this discussion. Can we, can we, can this count as an official pitch? <laughs> or like an official, like this is our collaboration on what the <laughs> original idea was. And then we're going to get the rights to the creation of whatever this video game. Uh, what's it been like being on that show? Because, you know, consistently from year to year, you guys can are, are always funny. And other shows, they kind of go downhill. Fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 we all love what we do. I don't know. We're, we're funny because we, we, we like what we do. I, I really like being Sue, so I don't try to be funny as her. I just still enjoy playing her, so if that comes off as funny to other people, then that's awesome. Is Sue ever going to lose the braces? Good question. Good <laughs> ass question. Sorry. I had to put that in because it had to be an expletive. Good ass question. I don't know. I don't know. In reality, she would have probably grown out of them by now, right? I don't know. I had, this is we're going into our fifth season, and I actually did have braces for five years in real life. Okay. So and this would be. Five years. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm not complaining because Sue is awesome, and also this job is great. <laughs> and it it, it 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 yes, it's awesome. I enjoy like going to work every day, so I can't complain about like the little <laughs> thing about I have braces every day. <laughs> but but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're gonna lose they don't tell me. They don't tell me anything. I know as much as you. So now you're at Comic Con for fun. What, what's this show mean to you? Uh, the, which which, which Comic Con show? Oh my God, I love it. I it means that I get to like explore the brains of the people that create the things that I love. Also, the expo. Also getting to like buy things <laughs> that I wouldn't normally get to buy elsewhere or like all the things I want in a really concentrated area. It's so great. Also, I'm sorry, I just have to plug this. I actually, I do have a cartoon that's gonna air on Disney Channel next year. Okay. And so hopefully I'll be at Comic-Con for professional purposes next year. So what's the, what's the cartoon? It's called Star and the Forces of Evil. And I play Princess Star Butterfly. So what's that like jumping into the animated uh, realm? It's crazy. It's crazy. And I have a totally newfound respect for, like whenever I go to the, I love cartoons. So when I go to, when I go to panels, um, for the cartoons that I love, the creators, the everyone who's there, even the, like the, the voice actors, I just understand that it's like not just being there for Comic Con is work, but I just have a newfound respect for the work that they do outside of everything. 
it's crazy, that's all. It's like a totally different skill, totally different skill, and like making cartoons in general is, a, is something I am just in awe of. And no braces, right? And no braces! <laughs> not even, not no braces, like, no hair and makeup, no, like, no anything. I can come in and just be like, ugh, I'm gonna go lump today. But let me just, like, be silly, and, like, you'll record it, you'll understand it. 